In total, the total number of arrests that we have effected since this morning is 25. In terms of the breakdown of the 25, 21 are employees and four are employers. And of the 21, one of the employees was also found in possession of a fraudulent work visa. So it has been confirmed that it is uh, fraudulent, but the total arrest now totals to 25. And in terms of documentation, because of course that was what you were looking for quite thoroughly, how did that go? Now in terms of documentations, normally when we move in we check the kind of documentations that all the employees have. Obviously for citizens or for South Africans or for permanent residence holders, you will then find them in possession of an ID. Then when we go to foreigners, they have to be in possession of a passport together with a valid work permit. So those that we have arrested are within this space. The first thing is that they are illegal. We're going to charge them in terms of them being illegal in the country. The second thing, even though they were found to be illegal, they were working. So there are two contraventions in line with the Immigration Act that they are going to be faced with. One being illegal in the country, being in the country without documentation, and now the second one is you being illegal, but still us finding you with, within the workspace. So that is what is going to, that is what our officials are pro currently processing them. But the employer, it's also them ensuring that these people are given space to work, which is against the, the laws of this country, especially the Immigration Act. Uh, we did not get any documentation from all seven companies and we have issued them with notices to say they must provide us with that documentation within 30 days, failing we shall have to then prosecute them. Okay, hi, this is Brian here, the owner of the Powerbill Cosmo. We are here to support our communities. The new guys are working with me today. This guy already learned his job. Okay, now we are giving 10 guys the opportunity to work with me. Right. I got four branches, we split all the guys in the branches. Now we are all South African working to have our better life. Isn't that? Yes. Thank you. Yes, and Monan, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, slowly but surely, we're getting there. Put South Africa first. You know, that's all we ever ask for. Do not hire people because of cheap labor, but hire people because they deserve to be hired. If they are legal, let them work. But if they are not, and you have unemployed South Africans that you can hire, but you choose to opt for cheap labor, you should be held accountable. There is no way that we're one of the richest countries in Africa, but we also have the highest unemployment rates. It just doesn't make sense. It's either we're rich or poor. It's either we're struggling or we're not. We cannot have the highest GDP in the continent, but still have this high unemployment rate. It just does not add up. It does not make sense. The border control home affairs is just, when it comes to border control, honestly speaking, very useless. So we have no control over that. It's not like citizens have any control over that, but these employers that employ undocumented people with no visa, no permits, no whatever, they should be held accountable. And it's actually good that this is documented. Shout out to Newsroom for always, otherwise unless cold drinky, valam plomo, you know how it works. So it's good because it's actually documented as well. Shout out to um, Obab Tabang as well, who has been really working hard in this Put South Africa First movement. He has really been working hard and he's not even paid for, you know, doing that job. So shout out to him for making sure we'll see young people do get jobs instead of we'll see and all of that. So shout out to him, man. Do let me know guys what you think in the comment section down below.